Yeah, I have no makeup on at all. So I look like a man. Well, first of all, you know, you have to prime your eyes. And I don't know where my primer is right now at the moment. So I'm just going to skip that. I do my makeup in a certain order. So then I put eyeliner on after my primer. So I just like put it on my waterline. By the way, I wouldn't be doing a makeup tutorial because my camera is so shitty. But they're suggested. So um, yeah, but when I do get a good camera, then I'll just redo them. But this is what you get for now. I, these eyeshadows are by the color workshop, I think. Um, my ex-boyfriend's mom got this for me. But you don't have to have the same one. I mean, you can just use a color close to it. Cream color, tannish kind of, I don't know. I just put that all over my eyelid. Yeah, I understand that I suck at these types of videos, but I wouldn't be doing them if they weren't suggested. Okay, and then I'm gonna take the color next to that one. Um, it's like a kind of like a bronze color, and then. I'm gonna put that like in my crease. This one is from Sally's my mom got it for me. Um it's the Real Colors Adventure palette. It's this one. And I'm gonna use the purple there. It looks of course it looks kinda of bluish on camera, but so what you need is like a metallic a purple. It's a little bit bluish, but I'm just going to use one of these little things. So I'm just going to put this in the outer corner. Okay, this is Maybelline. But yeah, this is what it looks like. My ex-boyfriend got this for me. Um, I'm going to use the blue. Shit. Hey, stop it. That's the blue right there. And then I'm gonna put that like... Okay, exactly where I put the purple, I'm gonna like... Well, I guess I'm just gonna put it like directly in my crease. Um... But not like all over the purple, just like in the crease. And then if, if it looks too bluish, then just um... Go over it with the purple a tiny bit. Okay, and then I'm going to take an angle brush and then use that black that was in here. And I'm just like putting it directly on the outer corner. I, it's really hard for me to explain this, okay? I guess what I was trying to say was just put it on the outside of the purple and then take that bronze color from before and put it on the inner corner of your eye and again with the angled brush and the black just go right under your eye <laughs> your waterline Okay, this might look weird at the moment, but um, trust me, after I put on the liquid eyeliner on top, it'll look even. And just try to blend, blend in the colors a little bit. And if you're wondering what I use for foundation, um, I use Maybelline Dream Look and Loose in porcelain ivory. This is like around seven bucks at Walmart. And I put that on first. I don't always put on concealer though because it doesn't really, I don't know. There isn't much to conceal that this won't do. And then I use L'Oreal Paris True Match Mineral um, in a uh, soft ivory. I need this at Walmart for like between 10 to, 10 to 13 bucks. 
and I use a powder brush. And then I use this, I do not know how to pronounce the name, it's M-U-R-L-E, Norman Remarkable Finish Loose Powder, and I don't know how much this costs. And this shit lasts a long time. Like, I know you're not supposed to keep makeup for that long, for like just a few months, but I've had this for almost two years. I'm just going to do my eyebrows. Oh, this is... Uh, what the hell? Cover Girl. Brow and Eye Makers. In Midnight Brown. Yay, now they give me manlier. Okay, and then for my liquid eyeliner, my upper eyeliner, um, I use Maybelline New York Master Precise in black. So it's a felt tip eyeliner. And, um, it doesn't drop as dark anymore, so then I just go over it with this hard candy walking lime liquid eyeliner. But I use it to, like, trace it first because this can, because, you know, liquid eyeliner can get pretty, um, difficult. So it's just easier to use this first.